Not the prettiest, but it counts. All right, welcome back to another one of our two minute tactics. Let's quickly discuss a problem that people have in their deadlift, specifically a problem with their shoulders. And there's really two places this shows up. The general problem is that of unnecessary and counterproductive movement of the shoulders. So what am I talking about? Where are the two places that this error shows up? Because the error is a little bit different depending on where it shows up. Error number one, you're doing the setup correctly. So you've got your stance, your grip, your shins, you squeeze your chest up, and then at this point where you should be setting the back, you're also accidentally not just setting your back, you're also accidentally retracting your shoulder blades. Retracting your shoulder blades, great for the bench press, not great for the deadlift. Don't do it, all right? It is unnecessary, you don't need to do it, and it's counterproductive, right? You're introducing slack into the system that you will not be able to maintain under a heavy load, sure. You might be able to maintain it under a light deadlift, but not a challenging one. Your shoulders are gonna come back to this position, so don't do it, and it's counterproductive. You've introduced an unnecessary variable. You've got a, a, you know, a different position in your setup that you're not gonna actually maintain when the bar comes off the floor, and it's also counterproductive because it gives you artificially shorter arms, which is never an advantage in the deadlift. So that's error number one where it happens with the shoulders. The second place, that it happens. This tends to be more of a new lifter thing, but not always. And that is at the top of the deadlift. When people finish the deadlift, sometimes they'll get to the top of the deadlift and they'll try to shrug at the top of the movement. Same thing. It's unnecessary. A finished deadlift is chest up, but beyond that, you're just standing up like a normal human being. There's no need to shrug and it's counterproductive. Again, you can't do this when it gets heavy. You got a heavy set of deadlifts. Weights that you can successfully stand up are not weights. They are heavier than the weights that you can successfully shrug. So don't do it. It's wasted energy. It's wasted effort. So it's unnecessary. It's counterproductive. So how do we do this? How do we fix these problems? Simply don't do anything with your shoulders. No part of the deadlift should be you thinking about your shoulders. That last step, step four, squeeze your chest up to set your back in extension, and then you're dragging the bar up your legs all the way up. At the top, just remind yourself you're standing tall with your chest up. If necessary, you can cue yourself shoulders down at the top. Don't cue yourself, don't shrug. That's a negative cue. It's not as useful. Instead, give yourself something to do, not something to avoid. So just remind yourself shoulders down if necessary. If you still find that you're retracting your shoulder blades in the setup position, you can remind yourself that when you squeeze your chest up, you want to be as far away from the bar as possible. In other words, you kind of want go-go gadget arms. You want really, really long arms. That problem of retracting the shoulder blades is often tied to, especially for new lifters, kind of bending the elbows and bending the wrist as well, almost, almost resting on the bar. So you can cue yourself long arms or simply get away from the bar while of course still being attached to the bar. Pretty sure this went over two minutes, but as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.